comes Kerry Swenson, skiing the middle leg of a five-kilometer relay race for the United States. We're currently in sixth place, far better than expected by this young American team. solely on those five tiny target points. And this is where the real challenge of the biathlon lies. To tell you how difficult it is, it'll be like running a 100-yard dash as fast as you possibly can, and then immediately stopping and trying to thread a needle. and shoots clean. And that means that there's no penalty lap for her final tour of the course. I tell you, this young lady from Bozeman, Montana is quite an athlete. Just four days ago, here at Chamonix, she placed fourth in a 10-kilometer race. Now, that's the highest place finish ever by an American athlete, male or female, in the history of Nordic competition. But frankly, the Americans are going to have to do a whole lot better than that if they expect to win a medal here today. This looks like Carrie Swenson of the United States. It is, and she has pulled even with the skier from Finland. We have got a battle for third. Today, 23-year-old American Kerry Swenson put in the fastest individual time to lead her team to a medal place for the first time in the competition's history. How does that feel, Kerry? <laughs> great. I'm sure you'll all get a great welcome when you return to the States. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Biathlon's not exactly a household word in America. I'm sure if anybody's going to make it one, you are.
Thank you, Kerry Swenson. Let's go. Riding sassy. Hey there, kiddo. You up for some lunch? How's she doing? Yeah, her tendon's all healed. Great. Get her to tell the other horses how good you are. Word of mouth is very important when you're building a practice. Where's your brother? He's still running. I beat him up the pass, so he decided to run another five kilometers. Show me I have absolutely no stamina. Want to wait for him? No way. I still want to go riding this afternoon. I'm starved. Great. <laughs> five minutes more, and old Porky here would have eaten all the tuna. <sighs> you ate all the chips, too? I told you I was hungry. Uh, How far did you go? Another 10, 12 kilometers. Sure you did. Oh, excuse me for interrupting, but. How are you two planning on getting this mountain of junk up to the ranch? Genius here has enlisted the services of that poor jerk, Tom. <laughs> Doesn't he know that you're just using him? I am not. Now, which one is that? The tall blonde one with no brains? Mm-mm. The short, ugly one with no brains. Will you guys get off me? Well, who's taking up the skis? That kid from Massachusetts you had here last week? Dad. She's got this guy so wrapped around her finger that he's taken everything up. My stuff, too. <laughs> I'm not anymore. You can carry it up on your back. All right, you two. Thanks, Mom. He's bringing a truck by here by 6 o'clock, and then he's going to drive us up. Oh, well, that's sweet of him. What's the snow level up there now? About 9,000 feet. Mm -hmm. I hope to get on my skis. Anyway, the running will be better up there. Mm, well, we'll try and come up Sunday to visit you. You know, kid, you should practice a little on your target shooting. You could be hitting a much higher percentage. A couple of intervals of pulse shooting, I'll be fine. Yeah, you could use some offhand dry shooting, too. Waste of time. What time is it anyway? Oh, I gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> Not that fast. You wear my jacket, squirt. Give me a break. Know. Those two are like a couple of mountain lion cubs, just cuffing and scrapping all the time. I wonder where they get that from. <laughs> okay, uh, yours is a steak? No, that's mine. That's what she said. No, she said that yours is the steak. That's right, that's mine. Yeah. Right. Wait, whose is the steak? It's mine. Ranchers can't see past the dollar signs in their eyes. Right in the head. The camp over yonder. Go down and see if we can find something for you tomorrow. Hey, how about a quick 20K? You are going to run now? 
Obviously, you're not. Uh, yeah, you look good. <laughs> Leave me alone. You had a late night? Yeah. Mm. Look, I was thinking about going out to Beehive Basin later. Why don't you just stay here, and then we'll go? Some of us want to stay in shape. Ow. a lot better over here. Thanks, I'm doing fine. Say, so you know what the date is? Uh, yeah, it's the 15th. Say, you fellas been up in the mountains a while, huh? Yeah, long time. Hey, honey, I'm hungry. Where do you want this stuff? Bring it on down here. This is my hut. pretty women much up here. Maybe we'd like to talk to you a little. I don't want to talk to you. Well, what's your name? Sue. You married? Yes. Where's your wedding ring? I woke up at the Lone Mountain Ranch around lots of machines and stuff. I don't want to get it caught on anything, so I take it off when I'm working. Do you think she's married, Danny? No, I don't. All women lie. Do you have any children? No. I'm married. I really am. I gotta get back to her. What do you think? Should we keep her? Yeah. We'll go get the rope. Before, but you'll help me 
Dana, will you? I'll flush your damn eyes! You hear me? You don't want to get involved in this. Please, let me go. Ah, please, let me go. Please. No. I won't keep you. Don't lag. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? No, we're gonna keep you for a couple of days, that's all. Till you get to like us. You wanna stay. And what if I don't? We'll probably let you go. How can I believe that? Stop that! I'm trying to make a trail by breaking the branches. Gotta watch her, Danny. Sorry. the rest. Look at this place, Sue. Can you see it? Streams bringing the snow off the mountain. Grass lifting up to the sun. Look at me when I'm talking to you. We've been living up in these mountains for 12 years, on and off. Last year, straight through. There's no finer life you can have. I don't want to tell you what to do and when to do it. No wasting your life in some sweatshop to get money for things you can't use. We live free. So, we plant gardens and we shoot meat if we need it. We got caches of flour and lard and sugar and stuff all over these mountains. Nobody will ever find them. We can stay up here as long as we want. Only thing we need is female companionship. You see, we're going to start a tribe. You're just the first. down in Big Sky. What are they doing here? Tearing up the land with their houses and roads. What do they know about the beauty here? Nothing. Letting their cattle strip the grass from our pastures. They got no business here except to destroy. Destroy everything. Look, you know, no one even knows I've been kidnapped. No one would believe me. All you gotta do is change your mind. Just tell your dad that you've changed your mind. Besides, if you let me go now, I won't say anything. That's not very smart. I told you, if anybody finds us, we kill him. What about your husband, Sue? Haven't mentioned him in a while. I'm looking for tens. You have any tens? Nope. No fish. Uh, oh, where's Kara? She's an hour late. She's not here? I haven't seen her all afternoon. I saw her car up by Elris Lake Trailhead about 4.30. Yeah, she was gonna run. That's up near where I saw that grizzly a couple of days ago. I, th I think I'm going to go take a look. Okay. All right. Loosen this chain so I can sit down. No. Yeah. Once it's said, let her figure it out for herself. Ow! 
Got there, Sue. Move so I can get the other one. I said, Move. Wouldn't want you to get any ideas. How old are you? Twenty-two. I was hoping for an older woman for my son. Your son? Danny didn't think he could stay up here too much longer without a female. I, I asked some of them hippie girls over there in Jackson if they'd come up. They weren't interested. You know, I bought that chain six years ago. You've been planning this for that long? Yeah. You came running around that lake. I couldn't believe my eyes. I guess we'll keep you Till you figure out which one of us you like best. My family's gonna come looking for me. Shut up about your damn family! Don't make no difference one way or the other. That uh, Danny. Getting our supper. <laughs> Hello. What? Well, let me know if you hear anything. That was Bob Shaft. Terry's missing. She didn't come back from her run this afternoon. He said they'd spotted a grizzly in the area. I'm sure she's okay. But just in case, I think I'll call George. He'll take me up to his plane. I'll drive him. 
Yes, I'm, I'm trying to get in touch with Sheriff France. Bob Schaap over at Lone Mountain. Yes, we have a missing girl, one of our staff, and we're putting together a search right now, and we'd like you to... What? We just can't do this. Your, your policy is what? We have a policy to do night searches or something. Hello? Going up the trail. Hello? Yeah. There, Mr. Chap? Listen, I don't give a damn about that. You put me in touch with Sheriff France. What do you think we'll see at night? Well, she's hurt somewhere. She might have lit a fire. She'd work out some kind of signal. She knows what she's doing. Do you have a piece of paper and a pencil or something? What for? Something to do. Try this. You know, Danny Dross, he's really talented. Good shoot. Go ahead, go. I like unicorns. They're special, you know? One of a kind. You like unicorns, too? Good. I did a mural on the school wall at White Sulphur Spring. It was, it was the same thing, only the girl had clothes on. We need dogs, we need radios. Where's the sheriff? Who knows? There's some kind of problem. What's kind of problem? I don't know. Look, I gotta go look for him, Mom. Wait, wait. You stay here. They need somebody to report to. I'm gonna go back to Shaft to find what's going on. Jan, I'm sure Carrie's okay. She's one tough lady. It's getting cold. We stashed some of my ex-wife's clothes that might have fit you. They're on the other side of the mountain. Maybe you see some of the places we live in, Sue. You got underground hideouts, caves. We could stay up here forever. You won't miss your life down there. You see that. We live free. We do what we want. Sleep. I'm give you one of the sleeping bags. <clears throat> Can you take the chain off for a minute? I have to go to the bathroom. Whatever you have to do, you do right here. We're not letting you go for a second. Well, if you're bashful about it, we'll turn our backs. Wouldn't want you to think we're dirty old men.
Yeah. Yeah, Brad. I just got a call from Jan Swenson. Her uh, her daughter Carrie's missing up Bowery's Lake. She's really frantic. Yeah. Carrie's not the kind of girl to get lost. Anyway, I'm going up there with my dog right away. All right, I'll see you there. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, what are the Madison people doing? Well, they... Why didn't Shore France call me? No, they got, they got a policy and no nights. Oh, yeah, right. Well, that's the way they do things there. All right, I'll see what we can do from here. All right, all right. right. Yeah, it's John. Hey, sure. Don't you see how fast you can get a search party together? Where? You know, Old Ray's Lake up by Lone Mountain Ranch. Isn't that Francis County? Yeah, I know what county it is, but don't worry about it. All right. It's a Swinson girl. <laughs> I couldn't see a thing. Anything here? You want to eat here? Yeah, I couldn't think of a prettier spot. What do you think, Sue? All right, listen up. The grenade search team has its assigned area. Stay in them. Follow your maps exactly. Maintain radio contact with the base station at least once every half hour. Right. Now, Brad Brisbane here from the Gallatin Sheriff's Office will take the lead in areas one and two with his tracking dog. Now, no one in those areas is to be out in front of him. Is that understood? Yes, yes. yes. All right, any questions? No. no. I just want to remind you all that if Carrie is found hurt, by a bear or anything at all. Do not move her. The greatest danger is going to come from hypothermia, so make sure she's warm. And she may be in shock, so cover up. Okay, let's go. Yeah, you know, 95% of these lost in the woods people walk out on their own anyhow. Yeah, that's what they say. That other 5% we got to worry about. Take him off. No. Daddy. You get them wet shorts off of her. Turn me loose, please. Don't let things get any more serious than they are. The law will never find you. And if you keep me, I'm never going to stay with you. I'm going to run away the first chance I get. Look, you, you better do what my pop says. I will never stay with you. Please, turn me loose. No. You're pretty. <laughs> I'm just gonna dry him out, that's all. I don't want you to get a cold.
Radio check. Jan, you read me? Yeah, this is Jan. We're about to cross Lone Creek, heading from Section 14 into Section 10. We are looking for Trail 317 in Section 6. Has anybody there found any clues? No, Jan. Over. Sector 4, are you there? Yeah, we're here. Just a radio check. Well, we'll keep climbing. This is Bob Swenson. We just come across something in the upper pasture here. A cow just shot and left. Headshot. What do you make of it? I don't know. Here you go, Sue. Try these on. Stay back! Stay away! They've got guns! Get the girl you've been looking for! Yeah. That's her. Get help! They'll shoot you! Shut her up! Shut up! Radio's breaking up. Repeat. What's going on? There seems to be a shooting up on the north rim. Grab your stuff. Let's get out of here. Is she gonna die? Nah. I've seen lots of wounds like that. Please. I'm so cold. Please leave me the bag. You won't need it.
hear me? This is Barney at base camp. I just want to make sure. Carrie, got ass. Here, take it easy now. We gotta get back up there. Really? There's two of them. There's some kind of mountain, man. They got guns. Calm down and tell me what happened. All right. We we're back up there searching, you know, and we found them. And they had it, Carrie. They had a chain on her and it shot her. Shot her. She yeah, was still alive. alive. Al's dead. They killed Al. Oh, no. Shot him. Got him right through the head. Jim, I want you to pinpoint the exact location for me. I don't know. Yes, you can. Come on now. Do it. Party, John. Oh, everybody in. Everybody. Right. Sheriff Francis, is he down there yet? No. Damn it. Yeah, over there. I'm Terry's father. You, you said she was shot? In the chest right up in here. But look, she's alive. So you had chains on her. How bad was she shot? I don't know. Look, there's nothing I could do. Jim, where's your radio? Al well, had it. Damn it, tell me everything you saw. Look, I'm sorry. Marty's John. Oh, look, those guys may have one of our radios. Well, After you call everybody in, I want radio silence. Complete radio silence. Sheriff! Now, we've got to get up there right away. Look, I got some deputies coming in from Big Sky. When they get here, we're moving in. No, there's no time. How many damn people do you need? Your posse's here. There's all of us. These guys are civilians. There's two armed killers up there, and there's one dead man already. Yeah, and Carrie's lying up there shot in the snow. Do your job. I am doing my job, Bob. Now, look, calm down. I know how you feel. You know how I feel? Yes. That's my daughter we're talking about up there. Going to get her back. Now, trust us. Dad? What? What's happened? I, 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 I... I... Jim, Jim Schwalbe thought. Carrie's been shot. Carrie's been shot. And she's still, she's still alive. She's just hurt. All units, listen carefully. Do not answer, do not give your locations. Everyone return to base immediately, taking all possible precautions. There are dangerous men out there. Jan, you and Donovan are particularly isolated. Do not return to base, but take the long way out through with us. What's going on? We're observing strict radio silence. I repeat, radio silence. Marty, this is Jan. Tell us what's happening. 
Marty, please tell us what is happening. Okay, come on, Gary. Relax. Relax. Maybe a trap. It's a clearing. They're all clearing for the southern exposure. It seems like we split up around this drainage. I think it's higher, maybe? Yeah. All right, let's go. Stay alert. for you to do here. Just come on down to the ranch. I can't believe how long it's taking. I know they're doing the best they can. Yeah. Well, I'm not moving one inch until they bring her down.
Dad, they, uh, they want us to leave now. We've been in there over four hours. Why can't they find her? Come on, Dad. Leave me alone! Oh, God. Listen to me. I'm sorry, Paul. Forgive me.
Keep that wound in the upper left leg quiet. Maybe involved. Here's Woody Walter. Woody Walter. Through that door. Oh, Dr. Walter. Got a call here. We're here, honey. I'm sorry. Why? Is it because you didn't drive the ambulance? Hey, kid. Hi. Please, wait. Okay. Start a mainline IV, D5LR3. Is she all right? I don't know yet. She looks awful, Mommy. I'll find out. I'll call Johanna. Thank you, Dr. Phillips. Right, let's get that off there. Right away. Train coming in. Gunshot wound, upper right quadrant. Uh, the lung may be involved. Go ahead. We're going to have to find out if there's an exit point. Type and cross match. Four units of whole blood. A crash cart. Put her up to the monitor. You'll have to leave now. I'm a nurse. I'm staying. Hello, Mom. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, 80 over 40. Pulse 150. Turn up the IV. Chest tube tray. Carrie, we're going to have to roll you over onto your left side to see if there's an exit wound from the bullet. It went all the way through. I can feel the blood running down my back. You're quite a trooper, aren't you? I'd like to see you when we're what? finished. Hold steady, please. It's okay, sweetie. How's it now? What did he mean? Carrie, try and be calm, honey. Is it Alan? I couldn't see. Tell me. Not now, sweetie. Honey, you're gonna have to put the mask. Just tell me. Listen to your mother, Carrie. Stay calm. They can't help you unless you stay calm. Tell me. It was Alan. <laughs> no! Come on, honey, hold on. Sweetie. All right. I just know! I didn't know! Honey. No! All right, let's go in. <laughs> When your mom and I decided to move back here from Philadelphia, the main reason was to get away to, some, to where something like this couldn't happen. Where in hell can you go to be safe in this country? Well, since this is your county, my men and I, we're here at your service. Well, some of my deputies, they tracked them, but they lost them down below the snow line. I got an investigator down below with all his gear. Can we get him up here? Yeah, sure. And I could use a camera. Okay. I got one in my pack over here. Johnny. Uh -huh. I need a boot. Oh. Looks like a 30 off six. <sighs> Been fired. There's another one. Uh-huh.
was she? Critical. Some fragments of the bullet that can't be removed. And they're afraid it ricocheted around if it traveled through a chest. Damaged some of the organs. The diaphragm, the liver. She's going to make it. Look at these guys. Now. I don't have to look. Police are like everybody else down there. They're trapped in their own system. That's why when they come up against men that have freed themselves from the system, they're lost. They can't stand that. That's why they'll come after us with everything they got. But they can't beat what they can't control. Uh, yes, sir. We are advising people to stay out of the Lone Mountain and the Spanish Peaks regions. Uh, these men are military types. They're well armed, and they're definitely still in the area. Sheriff. Uh, Sheriff. Yes, ma'am. Rumor has it out of Washington there may be a connection with the terrorists striking our Olympic team. <laughs> no, ma'am. These are no terrorists. Don Nichols, the father, is just a very strange loner type. Uh, apparently, always has been. He was raised around here, then joined the Navy. He got discharged in a Section Eight. That's mental instability. Got married in West Virginia, had two kids, then moved back here. His wife left him 13 years ago. Since then, he's generally worked winters and spent the summers in the mountains with his son. Now, son Dan is 19. He lived mainly with his mother over in White Sulphur Springs. Now, during those summers in the mountains, the old man apparently drilled his philosophy into him, and he took to it. Like his dad, he's a loner. He got into some trouble when he was about 14 years old. Chased a nine-year-old girl into her house with a butcher knife. Apparently, he was trying to convince her 13-year-old sister to go down river with him. Girls are very much on his mind. <laughs> okay, kiddo. Okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie. What happened? I got the card. <laughs> Carrie. You're okay. Hey, Paul, is there something wrong here? Uh, I don't see anything. Just a unicorn. Talk to me, sweetheart. Come on. I'm cold, Pop. that over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I may be a day or two old. Looks like they're headed for that high country. Or northwest. Let's best camp there tonight. Your service. No.
Nothing. That girl. She never gave us a chance. Sorry for the hassle. I don't think I could stand up under the shower. Oh, I don't think I could haul you out of the tub. <laughs> oh. Hold on, sweetie. I'll be right back. Biathlon training camp starts in four months. Pancake syrup. Call us a couple of days earlier. Yeah. You ain't gonna catch him anyway. Not in these mountains. Well, as long as I got a taste for pancakes and syrup, I might. Well, I understand they broke the law and all that, but uh, that girl's kind of asking for it, wasn't she? You know, run around in all those skimpy outfits. I don't have to listen to this crap. John, <sighs> you know we've got to stop this. This isn't even our county. And Kay told me yesterday we just about busted this year's budget already. You know, these fools that think those two are such romantic mountain men. Well, now they feel if Kara Swenson was their daughter, huh? You can't take on all the world's troubles, John. Yeah, but I can take on these two. Well, we'll just see how these two mountain men can take on a real Rocky Mountain winner. Send it, Carrie. Stretch. That's better.
Look all over town to get those candles that won't blow out. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get better. Will it? I feel like those creeps are still with me. I can't get rid of them. I saw you leave, and uh, I, I didn't think you should be alone. I'm sorry. It's OK. I just don't have to deal with this by myself, OK? OK. like room for some weather. Yep. South. Come on. Come on.
on, Danny. Let's hurry up. Seems like they were after food. Sugar, salt, granola. Pancake mix and syrup. How did you know? <laughs> Just a good guess. In here, they took some books, uh, Western paperbacks mostly, plus a coat from the closet and a pair of old snowshoes. <sighs> Looks like they're getting homesick. That squad car's transmission had to be replaced. $476.42. Chopper fuel, $300.75. And you've had me on overtime. I don't want to tell you how many hours. Oh, let me guess. Yeah. A rancher named Moore over in Cold Springs spotted two men up in the hills on his property. France know about this? Madison County people haven't been able to get a hold of them. That's why Gary called over here. Cold Springs? That's not just over the county line. That's way over into Madison. Well, what should we do, boys? You hear that? It's another one. The chopper. Let's eat. Chopper's gonna be the spotter. It'll go in first so nobody gets hurt. It'll run them to the ground and coordinate with whoever happens to be the handiest. Is that clear? Who's gonna be in the chopper? Well, I will if you like. You wanna run the show down here? Fine. What I'd like to do first is take more snowmobile and go up and look at those tracks. Just see them for myself. I'll be right back. Oh. All right, let's work together on this. Everybody cooperate.
They're coming. There's one guy that I can see. <laughs> Must be some kind of idiot. A law man will never come in alone like that. We could shoot him easy. Or we could keep moving. Then what? What do you mean? We still got time. They won't catch us. They can never catch us if we don't want them to. You know that. How long you think you can go? I can go as long as you can go. Why are you saying that? Why are you saying that? Seen any coyotes? Now don't do anything stupid. Bottom carry. Look at those mountains. Isn't it great to be enjoying something like that? You don't think so? Yeah, I agree with you. The most pleasurable life you can know out here. Well, from the looks of you guys, I wonder. What? Think we had it rough? 
We've been living a hell of a lot better than you have, I'll tell you that. You don't know what it's like to live free. Really free. Ready, Carrie? I can't do this. But you have to. Don't you understand? I have to compete next week. All right. Do you really think you can win? Do you put all this out of your mind? 